As of Monday, December 21st, 2020, St. Lucia has recorded a total of 287 confirmed cases of COVID-19 out of a total of 18,642 tests for the virus that have been processed to date. We have recorded a total of 243 recoveries and a total of five COVID-19 related deaths. Currently, there are 22 active cases and there are no critical cases in care. There are no new cases reported today, December 21st, 2020. The Ministry of Health and Wellness continues to monitor the global and regional analysis of the COVID-19 situation as we actively assess our risks and make the required recommendations to adjust our response to suit. We note the steady rate of increase of COVID-19 cases in most countries as they experience their second wave of the pandemic. We continue to be guided by best practices as we strengthen the existing national protocols. On December 14, 2020, the United Kingdom Public Health Agency reported a variant of SARS-CoV in 1,108 individuals. The newly identified strain has been in circulation since September 2020 in the United Kingdom. It is important to note that feature of viruses that they change over time and hundreds of variations of SARS-CoV virus have been identified with time. The preliminary analysis in the United Kingdom suggests that the virus has an increased risk of being transmitted as high as 70%. The United Kingdom government has noted significant transmission and spread in the areas where the variant of SARS-CoV-2 strain has been found. There is no indication at this point of increased severity or harmfulness associated with this new variant or any challenges it shall pose to the effectiveness of the vaccines currently available. Preliminary guidance has been received from the Pan American Health Organization, World Health Organization, and the European Center for Disease Prevention and Control. The public health team at the Ministry of Health and Wellness is reviewing all information in relation to this new threat in consultation with our international and regional public health agencies to guide the way forward in reducing the possible impact to our country. This situation further proves the importance of strict adherence to all protocols recommended to reduce transmission of the virus. There is need for maintaining and even increasing our vigilance at all levels where risks have been identified. As we celebrate the Christmas season, let us all remain on alert and remain committed to protecting the health and safety of our family, friends, colleagues, and neighbors. We ask all to minimize their movements, avoid social gatherings and other activities which will bring about greater exposure to the virus. Let us continue to practice the infection prevention and control measures to minimize the spread of COVID-19. This includes wash your hands during the day using soap and flowing water, to use a mask while in public places and ensure that it covers your mouth, chin, and nose. Maintain a distance of six feet from others. Use a bleach solution to sanitize frequently touched surfaces and frequently handled objects. Avoid contact with other persons who have flu-like symptoms. If you are experiencing flu-like symptoms, keep away from others and seek medical care at the closest community respiratory clinic. The Ministry of Health and Wellness will provide you with information as it becomes available.